Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Excited to be with you. This press conference was a doozy. I mean, I've seen some other ones. She's had a rough time. I mean, can you imagine the job? I mean, seriously, would you want it? I, I, my kids watch these, and they're just like, that lady again? Oh, my gosh. All she does is lie, and I'm thinking, well, I mean, it's kind of the... <laughs> the nature of this job right now because she has to go out there after a report that said Biden was basically mentally deficient. That's why he can't be prosecuted and answer questions. And Peter Ducey just tears her apart. Thank you, Greg. If the special counsel says President Biden's got significant limitations on his memory, then who is helping him run the country? The President of the United States runs the country. The Commander-in-Chief runs the country. How many of you honestly believe Joe Biden is running this country? How many of you feel that Joe Biden can run the world's largest economy, one of the world's largest militaries, the largest government apparatus that needs to be shrunk, by the way. It needs to be a smaller governor, government apparatus. But how many of you honestly believe that Joe Biden is running anything? How can he be trusted with the nuclear codes if I, I get that you're saying that uh, nobody in the building would say that he's got an issue with his memory. But just the little part of what we get to see, he's made mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake on camera this week. So I want to be very clear here. Um, the reality is that report, that part of the report, does not live in reality. It just doesn't. So the special counsel it is, is lying it, it is, about the president's it memory. Is, it is. It was gratuitous. You heard from my. You heard from Ian Sam's, my colleague. Uh, it is unacceptable, and it does not live in reality. That is just the facts. And and look. It is a close case. That is what the special counsel said. It may be closed for the special counsel, but I don't think it's closed for the American public. And what matters is here is that the president in the last three years has delivered on the economy, has delivered on health care, has turned this country around after the last president left us with an economy that was in a tailspin. In the comments, please tell me, do you feel that Joe Biden has delivered the goods for you, delivered on the economy? Do you feel better off now than you were in 2019? Set the pandemic aside for a second. Trump, 2019, best economy I've ever experienced in my life. But maybe it's different for you. Maybe you feel like Joe Biden's really killing it for you. I want to know. Please leave a comment below. That's what we were dealing with. That's what we were dealing with. If you think about the world leaders, world leaders and issues that have been going on in this country for the past two, three years, not in this country, in the world, right? When you think about Ukraine, the president was able to bring together NATO, NATO allies. They've been the strongest than they've ever been and make sure that we are providing what Ukraine, the brave people of Ukraine need as they're fighting aggression, uh, Putin's aggression. There we go again. Russia, 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 as Trump always said. It's Putin's aggression. It's Putin's price hike. The reason, remember why gas was so expensive? Putin's price hike. Putin, if they can't blame something on Putin, they're going to blame it on Trump. And if they can't blame something on Trump, they're going to blame it on Putin. And that is what this president has, has been able to do. His, his experience as former senator, as former vice president, and now president, has gotten us to a place where we've been able to turn things around in a way that we meet the needs of the American people, whether it's domestic issues or national security issues. And that is uh, what matters. That report of the report does not live in reality. Bye, everybody. Have a great Sadly, I think that report is the only thing living in reality. Karine Jean-Pierre obviously isn't living in reality. She talks about his experience. This is a guy who has plenty of experience running for the presidency. Remember when he got outed for plagiarism, outed for lying? He had to drop his campaigns multiple times. He's been in the Senate. He's been in government. He's never had a real job. He's been in government for 50 plus years he doesn't, this guy's never done anything in his life other than lie. He goes and he passes the crime bill and tells you he's for black America. I could go on and on, but the bottom line is she's not living in reality. Hey, remember to subscribe. Check out my sponsor, MyPillow, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack for big savings, the best sheets ever. I love y'all. Peace out.